Hi, uh, this is uh, episode 9, right? Uh, well, not episode, it's just a, a few little hints. Uh, not very long, you know, it's in, in, uh, in duration of, uh, you know, of uh, information. I'm sure so, it's not a really sure. Information. Yeah, information, that's right. And thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about neuroplasticity you now. And, you know, it kind of reroutes the pathways of the brain, sort of thing. You know, let's say you got a mental problem, uh, it may work, you know. And, and a lot of people say it does, and they're actually doing it down in the states, right, you know, in offices, and they say, they say it really works, neuroplasticity, it reroutes certain uh, receptors or sort of things in the brain. Now, uh, um, if you don't have a computer, you know, what I did, myself, I don't have, you know, I didn't have a computer at the time, so uh, what I did was, I, just, uh, I simply read things with visual concepts. You know, if you take a course in, you know, if you're smart enough and you take a course in chemistry, you know, that has visual concepts. You know, me medicine has all lot of visual concepts. Ah, maybe it, maybe it works the same as neuroplasticity. So I'm thinking, oh, okay. But it could be anything. It could be martial arts. You know, that has, that has uh, visual concepts, you know, and, and actually uh, body motions. You know, you kind of read those things and other things that have, uh, you know, um, you know, things that have, you know, visual concepts. But anyway, uh, the, the other thing I was thinking about, but you know, I take half a multivitamin a day sort of thing, you know, along with other uh, vitamins, you know. But I mean, other, you know, like I said in the past, you know, you could take the route of food, right? Food items that have the same sort of um, uh, minerals and vitamins if you want sort of thing. Uh, um, you know, I've talked a lot about garlic, and lots of people don't like garlic, you know. But there's other things, you know, like cabbage contains sulfur, right? Garlic contains sulfur, and sulfur is like one of the main things that sort of, uh, you know, in the bloodstream, uh, co the sulfur compounds, that means uh, a cha a chains of different uh, atoms all together with sulfur sort of thing. Those things, and the, you know, they seem to break down certain things in the body, you know, and sort of help infections, because... You know, the antibodies have a sulfur uh, atom in it, sort of thing. So, you know, uh, like cabbage, all the healthy things, all some of the healthy things, like, like onions and garlic and cabbage and what's a, a few other things that contain salt. Oh, there's a few other things. Oh, off the top of my head, I can't think of it. But I mean, you know, and uh, the best thing to do is study as many books, um, food books, uh, vitamin books, if you if you want. You know, otherwise you can watch my videos. But uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I can't go into all of them. There's so many things on these things. But uh, the other thing was, was uh, um, uh, uh, it's just a th in in PubMed it says it says uh, it says uh, you know Alzheimer's. It's, it's talk about Alzheimer's, eh? being uh, a diabetic brain, you know, if you look at PubMed, it says, you know, you'll write up uh, Alzheimer's uh, or diabetic brain, and, and it, it says, you know, the cells, you know, there's something similar between a diabetes and maybe uh, exactly the same, uh, a diabetes, uh, but the, just the brain cells are diabetic in the Alzheimer's, now that's strange, you know, and there's also links to uh, uh, aluminum being something to do with it, too. Well, now, now, um, uh, 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 I was thinking, so, so it's Alzheimer's, you know, certain mental illnesses, you know, they're like almost the opposite of Alzheimer's. At least that's what I think. I mean, nobody's really set me clear on it. But, I mean, I, I, I think it's something similar. And so I thought I had a theory that some mental illnesses, um, are, you could be a hypoglycemic brain. Now, if that's true, then, uh, then it could be a pure protein cure. Now, it's just a theory, but... But, uh, you know, if, if uh, hyperactivity, you know, they're hungry, right? Uh, well, at least for me, when I was hungry, I only got more hyperactive. Well, you know, when it comes close to lunch, I was more hyperactive. When I ate lunch, I calmed down. So, so, uh, so uh, you know, a protein cure sort of, uh, you know, could be the cure, somehow cured to this uh, hypoglycemic brain, if in fact it really is. So, so that's interesting. Uh, you know, we know that uh, garlic uh, lowers blood pressure in a sense, you know. And then, you know, then you, then you take a look at cayenne, also lowers blood pressure. Now, you know, that's a, that's a really good thing. Uh, you know, but if you add them together, maybe, maybe you know, it, it seems that, you know, kind of, 
Um, you know, if you like those like spicy things, you know. But uh, that's my show. That's my thing for today. Thanks.